Hello SPN family. Welcome to Rowena Reveals. This is our third session. I will start with the first question which comes from Loki Loves SPN. Does Rowena know she has a grandson? Short answer to that one, no. Which leads to the second question, Rowena Reveals, question two. From Ruth Connell Fan. Hello, I know who you are on Twitter. Thank you. <coughs> How would Rowena treat Crowley's son if she met him? Well, that would be my grandson, um, Gavin, played wonderfully by Theo, who I bumped into at a friend's birthday party a few weeks ago in West Hollywood. And he had just moved from Canada to LA, and literally I, we bumped into each other. It was crazy. So I, my reaction to Theo was, oh my god. Um, but I don't think Rowena's reaction to Gavin would be quite the same. Maybe her vanity wouldn't, wouldn't like being a grandmother, I'm not sure. Not every woman's built to be a grandmother. Um, or maybe she might think he might be useful. Who knows? It depends. It depends what the circumstances are at the time. But good question. Rowena reveals question three uh, from Cass Cassitel. How did Rowena become a witch and how did she get so powerful? Well, in Girls, 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 I talk about how, you know, the rarest of them all, you know, the natural born witches, so clearly I, I think I'm one of those. Um, and I think I got powerful by working really damn hard. I think I've studied with the best, I've devoted my life, I've worked my ass off, sorry, excuse my terrible American accent, and, um, I, I think I've earned my power, yeah, I think I've worked hard. So, next question, so that's three, so we're on four. Rowena reveals, I can almost say Rowena reveals now, question four, from Sam Uletta. Do you think Rowena is capable of overthrowing Crowley for the throne of hell? Well, I think Rowena is capable of anything. Whether or not that's her main goal uh, remains to be seen. Uh, next question, Rowena reveals question five from Carry On With Us. How does Rowena feel towards the mark of Cain and how it affects Dean? Well, I know that the mark makes uh, the carrier more powerful, more violent. Um, and I know um, that the first blade is the thing that can kill us all. Uh, so the, that combination is definitely something to be avoided or stopped <laughs> in some way. Uh, next question, and I've lost count. I don't know if this is six or five or... Anyway. Uh, from Margab92, M-A-R-G-A-B92, Margab92. Is it difficult to shoot a scene with Jensen ankles and don't pass out? Yes. It's virtually impossible uh, to shoot a scene with uh, Jensen Ackles or Jared Padalecki or Misha Collins or Mark Shepard. It's virtually impossible not to pass out. I mean, if you were to come onto the Supernatural set, you would just see women, men, women, children, just fainting everywhere all the time. It's just one of the hazards of the trade. But um, yeah, especially especially difficult with Jensen Ackles. <laughs> uh, next question, if I can read it, comes from uh, Gianna. McCray. Hmm, sounds like a Scottish name. How has being cast into Supernatural um, affected your life? It has affected my life in every way uh, imaginable. 2013 was a very tough year for me. 2014 was the complete opposite because of Supernatural. To be working on such a great show with such great people, from everyone from Ted, the driver who I adore, who picks me up, um, to Mike and Craft Services, to Neil in, in the office, to the guys on set and the camera, I mean everyone is just so fantastic and then there is the SPN family. I didn't even know about these conventions um, before, I mean I'd heard of obviously Comic Con and things but I didn't know anything about the, the other conventions so I'm, yeah it's amazing to me and now I spend a lot of my life on Twitter, <laughs> some of it on Tumblr, um, chatting to you guys and um, I really enjoy it and um, I'm really appreciating all the positive feedback so thank you very much. Next question uh, from, oh, Mir Gaudi I think it is. If Fergus wasn't the king of hell, what would you want him to be? Well, I would want 
my son to be at least some kind of angel of death, politician. Uh, next question. Time Lordy. I like this question. If Rowena wrote a book, what would it be about? Well, I mean, I can see a book on the shelf. I don't know if you guys can, but I can see a book on the shelf saying something like, Rowena's Guide to Witchcraft and Orgies. <laughs> oh dear, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I think that's us. I think we've come to the end. Thank you so... Oh, oh, there's one more question here. No, there's a couple more. SPN Fallen. And my computer's going crazy. SPN Fallen. Have the boys done some jokes with you um, in the Supernatural set? I love you. Okay, SPN Fallen. Again, I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, um, well, I don't know if it counts as a, a joke, but um, Jensen did... He did try to bite my finger the other day. <laughs> I'm not going to say why or, or what the circumstances were around it, but um, it might become clear in a future episode. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, last question uh, from Mil Dobrev. Maybe someday in Russia, I don't know where you're from. Um, do you want to come to a convention of Supernatural? Absolutely. I cannot wait. I can't wait to see uh, hopefully some of the cosplay. I'm hoping you'll keep the Rowena side strong with the cosplay. And um, I'm coming to Asylum. Uh, I'm coming to the Winchester Brothers one in Spain. I'm, and I know that I'm booked for um, Toronto. I'm so excited to visit Toronto. And also for Chicago. I love Chicago. I uh, can't wait to meet you guys there. And yeah, if you want me to come to more conventions, please, please um, tweet creation, tweet whoever it is that organizes them and say, we need some more Rowena in our lives. Thank you so much for all your support. And thanks to the guys at Husi, um for putting this out there as well. Um, you can find me on Twitter, Ruthie Connell. If you go to Husi, you can see my Instagram, Tumblr, the whole thing. You can find it all there. So um, thanks again and um, speak to you soon.